Welcome to how to remove and recover the recycling bin and deleting files with Viper 400 guitar. Who is this tutorial for? The only requirement for this tutorial is that you actually have Microsoft Windows 7 operating system. What is covered in this tutorial? In this tutorial we will learn how to force Windows to automatically delete files not placing them in the recycling bin. We will also learn how to turn off the delete confirmation dialog pop-up and how to remove the recycling bin icon from the desktop. Finally we will learn how to undo all of the previous steps. As you can see I have a useless file on my desktop. There are many ways to delete this file. Dragging to the recycling bin. Selecting the file and pressing the delete key on the keyboard. And right clicking and selecting delete are three of the most common methods. As you can see in each example the file was moved to the recycling bin and not permanently deleted from the hard drive. Some methods of permanently deleting the file include Recycling the file using one of the previous methods and then pressing empty the recycling bin or after recycling the file right click on the recycling bin and click empty recycling bin Another method for permanently deleting the file is to use the command processor, also known as command prompt or CMD. In command prompt type, del, then the file path relevant to your current directory, backslash the file name. If you are in the directory containing the file, simply type, del, then the file in am. If you would like more information on how to use command prompt please view tutorials on this subject. This same method can be done using a batch script which would look as follows. Echo off set slash p confirm equals quote are you sure you would like to delete this file question mark why for yes and for no end quote If slash I percent confirm percent equals equals Y Dell percent one. Save the file. To use this batch script drag the file to delete into the batch script. And press Y then enter. If you would like more information on batch scripting please refer to my batch as a programming language tutorials. Note that deleting files using these methods do not permanently delete the file from the hard drive and the data can still be recovered using the certain softwares. The only way to truly delete files is called zero writing which is often referred to as shredding. There are softwares available to do this. A good utility for deleting a whole hard drive is called Boot and Nook. The final and best method I will show you is how to force Windows to fully delete the files upon dragging to the recycling bin, pressing the delete key or selecting delete under the right click menu. To do this, right click on the recycling bin and select properties. 
In the Properties dialog, find the drive you wish to change the delete settings of. In this case I have 5 hard drives and a flash disk. For most people you will only have a single hard drive. For this example I will change the delete settings of my C drive. Below you can customize the maximum size of the recycling bin. We will want to elect to not move the files to the recycling bin and delete them immediately. Below we can also uncheck Display Delete Confirmation dialog if we wish. I do not recommend doing this in case you accidentally hit the delete key on your keyboard. As you can see if we delete the file again, the pop-up dialog warns us that the file will permanently be deleted. Because the files will no longer be stored in the recycling bin we do not need the recycling bin icon on our desktop. To delete this icon, right click on the background and select personalize on the left navigation panel click change desktop icons in this new pop-up dialog uncheck recycling bin and press ok as we can see our recycling bin has been removed from our desktop Follow all these steps again in reverse to undo the process. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you liked it please comment, rate, and subscribe.